Let's get straight into this tutorial about AutoGPT. They have changed everything again. They've made it even better. And now I am starting to see the sparks of AGI that everybody is talking about. First of all, everything that I mention in this video will be in the description, all of the links, etc. If you're not a coder, just follow everything that I do. Go on Google and type in AutoGPT. You have two options, but I'm just gonna use the GitHub repo. You wanna scroll down on the GitHub to documentation. They have finally added documentation and this makes everything so much easier. So you see at the top requirements, Docker, this is not required, it's a recommendation. I, I have no idea how to set this up, so I'm not gonna recommend it. Python 3.2, uh, 3.10 or later, VS Code, and also for some reason they don't mention Git, SC, uh, SCM, but I feel like it's recommended, but there you go. Um, so yeah, you want to go to, all of these links are in the description, go to this website, download this for whatever um, operating system you're on, I'm on Windows, get Python, downloads, Windows, latest version, Visual Studio Code, latest version for your operating system, and then you also need your API key from OpenAI, which can be found at platform.openai.com. And then you can just click on view API keys and you will have to make a new API key, which I'm gonna do now, which you will not be able to see. So I now have my API key. I now have everything that I just told you to download. Make sure that you have everything as well. Just scroll down to where it says clone the repository and you just wanna grab this and you wanna go into Visual Studio Code. Once inside Visual Studio Code, you probably won't have to do this, but click new window if you're, you know, if you've been using it before. Click on terminal, new terminal, and just control V, the command that we just copied from here. So control V, and then you want to write a name. I'm just going to write big bosser. Don't ask me why. Hit enter, and then just give it a little bit of time to install, basically. And then once it's finished installing, you want to do CD. In fact, let's do it another way. Click on file click on open folder and open up your auto GPT folder. If you don't write anything after this command here, it will just save as auto dash GPT, which is fine. But I obviously, I have that file a million times already because I've installed this so many times now. Once you're inside, click on terminal, new terminal like this. This is your folder here on the left. And then this is the terminal on the right. Click inside so we're already inside big bosser but if you weren't then you could do cd big bosser like this and that would take you into the file but obviously we're already inside the file which is this step here once you're inside here and you're using a terminal you want to do this command here which creates a copy of the env dot template so i'm just going to hit enter and you'll see now that it has a dot env file Click on the .env file and you'll see one that is blue. If you want to change any of these settings, all you have to do is delete this hashtag, okay? So let's say you wanted to write SEO content and it's better to have a slightly higher temperature while writing SEO content, you put that on 0 0.7. But because we're coding, I'm gonna leave this, well, coding, I'm gonna leave this as it is. So once you have done that, make sure you've got your open AI key and just paste your open AI key here with the SK as well. I'm gonna pause my video and do that. Once your secret key has been put into the .env file, then let's scroll down and you'll see here it says run.bat for Windows or run.sh for Mac. If you run, this is just a tip because I use Mac at work. If you run this on a Mac and it doesn't work, I recommend writing three after the Python, okay? I don't know if that's relevant to anyone except me because I have a weird Python setup, but there you go. So let's do dot slash run dot bat. This will take a little while. While this is loading, I just want to talk a little bit about what they have changed. It already loaded, but I made a mistake. So actually I'm going to close this terminal, open another terminal, do control V and I'm going to write GPT-4 only. So dash dash GPT-4 only. This is very expensive. Okay. So only do this if 
you're willing to spend money or if you're really trying to get like a good bit of programming out of this tool. So a couple of things they've changed. Number one is they've changed um, how you input information. If you liked the old way where you put um, your own five goals, then you can do dash dash manual. However, I would highly recommend sticking to the plan and sticking to uh, basically giving it a prompt. So I want AutoGPT to create me a static HTML, CSS, JavaScript website. Um, fill it with rant with um, some content, including pictures from the internet and um, some content. It will be a niche affiliate website on cats. Okay. And we're going to hit enter. Another thing they've changed is it actually gives you a chance to input uh, feedback. Okay. So just before it starts to, you know, go away with the fairies and start thinking, thinking for itself and start doing all this crazy stuff, it will actually give me a chance to give it feedback on the steps that it has come up with. I love this change. I think it's much better. So you'll see in a moment, it will give itself a name. It will give itself a role and it will give itself five tasks. So this is significantly better in my opinion than having to give it five tasks yourself. I much prefer it like this. So let's see what we've got here. The name is web cat GPT for some reason, especially uh, the role is a specialized web development AI that creates visually appealing and engaging static HTML, CSS, JS websites for niche affiliate marketing, focusing on the cat niche. So the goals are design and develop a user friendly, responsive and visually appealing static HTML, CSS, JS website tailored to the cat niche research and curate high quality, relevant and engaging articles. Uh, engaging content, including text, images to populate the website and promote affiliate products. Implement SEO best practices to optimize the website for search engines, which is really cool. Ensuring maximum visibility and organic traffic. Ensure compliance with copyrights and intellectual property by using royalty-free images. That's interesting. I didn't even think about that. Continuously monitor and update the website. Okay. So now it will give you the first five steps of, you know, starting. Okay. And what I'm going to say here, and this is something that I cannot recommend enough is please don't research, just get on with it. I would actually write that in the initial prompt as well, because what it tends to do also GPT tends to get stuck on random tasks that it already knows the answer to. Okay. In this case, popular cat topics and products is probably fine. It would have been good to get that information but I'm just looking for a website. I'm just looking for the skeleton of a website and chat GPT or, or GPT four API already knows how to make a website. It doesn't need to ask Google. It's like the developers of auto GPT just wanted to show off how amazing their tool is. Okay. But in actual fact, it doesn't need to Google how to make a website. But what it tends to do is it tends to waste an absolute crap load of credits Googling things and reading huge amounts of information and articles about topics that it already knows about and is already an expert. So what I would highly recommend is in the initial prompt that you give it. So I want auto GPT two at the end of it, just write, please get on with it. Do not spend time researching. Okay. Unless you specifically need it to research something. So it's already started. It's already got the base of the website. This is the last tip probably that I'm going to give you. This is the best tip I can give you is instead of doing Y 100 and then going to sleep or whatever, just do Y minus or Y dash three. Okay. What that does is it lets you see the direction that auto GPT is going in after three. And if you don't like it, you can give it feedback. If you give it a hundred steps, it will just keep going. And as far as I'm aware, there's no proper way to cancel it and change the direction, if that makes sense. So for me, it's better just to do Y three 
and see what it comes up with. Now, what, you, what I want you to do is to quickly go on extensions and you want to search for live server. You want to install live server, which I already have installed. It's right here. And then you can go back on here, click on auto GPT, click on GPT workspace, click on cat niche uh, website HTML or whatever the hell your website's called, and then press go live. This is where all those amazing videos that you see on Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, of basically a self-coding machine. You can leave this window open and occasionally refresh it and you will see the process that uh, is basically coming in. Okay, so if I refresh this, there's nothing new just yet, probably because the CSS hasn't been linked, but that's pretty much it. And yeah, I have had some pretty good success with this making me a website. I am planning on releasing more videos like this where I just use AutoGPT to make me a website, to write the content, and we're going to see if we can rank basically on with no CMS, okay? This is something I've never done before because I do not have programming knowledge. I am very curious, and I hope you guys are too, to see whether a complete novice like myself can code and release and rank a website without WordPress, without Shopify, without anything. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I will definitely see you soon with some more content. Peace out.